Okay, we have finally made it to our destination. Do you want to see? We've been stuck. I was wondering who you were talking to. <laughs> a little early to be talking. This is road tripping in the rain, Sarah. Hi, Kramer. He's going to. It's early. We're just desperate to see the sun. I'm just gonna get in my car and I'm just gonna drive until I see the sun. Cause it's gotta be shining somewhere. It's been raining here off and on all week. We're ready to get into a rental car and just drive west. So we've been driving for several hours now, and we decided that we needed to stop and stretch our legs. And we found this town. Sarah's not amused, but I am amused. This is the home of Superman. Wow. <laughs> We're in Metropolis, Illinois, which if you watch comic books, you know that Superman is from Metropolis. He's not from Illinois, he's from Kansas. So if you've ever wanted to know where the largest Superman statue is, it's right here in Metropolis. Truth, justice, and the American way. It's Superman's motto. We stretched our legs. Time to get back in the car. Lately, every day has sort of felt like Groundhog Day. We just wake up, we work, take a lunch break, we work some more, go for a walk, get a workout in, and then after dinner, we work a little more. Every day has felt the same, and much of that has been outside of our control. And sometimes that's just the season of life where you have to do what you gotta do and just get work done. We had an opportunity to come up, and while we would have usually been like, no, that's too short notice for such a far distance, plane tickets are too expensive, too far of a drive, Instead we said, yeah, we'll be there. We'll do it. That sounds great. We just wanted to get out. So when we rented this car, we got unlimited miles. We're not the people that the rental car companies make money on. <laughs> We've taken good care of it, but it's seen a lot of America so far. <laughs> it's got a lot more to see still. <laughs> We are spontaneous people, but we do actually have a destination that we're driving to. But we'll tell you more about that just a little later. We feel a little bit rusty when it comes to this whole vlogging thing. It's been, what, four months? Since Three we months? Four or f three months since we've really picked up the camera. We're like, let's just film today, see what we create. It does feel rusty. We're both just sort of feeling a little bit dazed, I guess. A little bit, I feel like our eyes are a little unfocused when we talk to the camera, I feel off. We'll get it back. It's like riding a bike, I think. But just because we're rusty does not mean that we don't want to do it. And being gone for three months doesn't mean we haven't <laughs> wanted to vlog. We've wanted to. Life just has not gone our way in a few areas lately, but that's okay. Life is good still. It's been different than what we expected. We didn't think 2023 was gonna start out like this, but some stuff changed this week. And we had the opportunity last minute to go for a brand partnership. And while it was very last minute and on the other side of the country, normally we probably would have said, no, we've got too much going on. We can't go there on a week and a half's notice but we didn't have anything going on. And so we said, heck yeah, we'll go, we'll be right there. Tickets were a thousand dollars a piece to fly across the country. And so we decided just to rent a car and make a road trip out of it, which is what this week has turned into. It's just this 
chance to be in quieter places, places we love. We know the route across America so well now, and we just need a chance to get away. So we're away, and it feels good. Can y'all see me? I don't know if you can see this swinging around in my hand. It's Kramer's poop bag. Leave no trace. <laughs> He's the gift that keeps on giving. We didn't film a ton coming out here. We did stay in Kansas City the night of the Super Bowl, which was- It was kind of fun. It was kind of fun. We saw fireworks off in the distance. So while we didn't film a lot coming out here, we do plan on filming a lot of our experience here in the Pacific Northwest and probably going back home. And by the time you see this video, we probably are gonna have two more videos filmed. We're scheduled to film two more this weekend. So there is more coming, I promise. It has just been a weird, it has just been a weird year. And I think we're finally getting our groove back a little bit. So thanks for being patient with us. But I think this video is just about us needing to break out of the mold a little bit and a little bit out of the routine because routine is my enemy. I do not like routine. So from the outside, this whole travel gig can look a lot of fun and it is a lot of fun and we're very fortunate to be able to do this. Beyond fortunate. <laughs> Really, I mean, sometimes I complain about our life and I'm like, what am I complaining about? <laughs> we have a really good life. I think we've gotten a little bit caught up in our own heads as far as what we think. Like we go based off of what everybody else in our YouTube genre or creative genre in general is doing. And we think that that's supposed to be the template of how we're supposed to travel. You know, we're supposed to visit 20 countries a year. We're supposed to always be on the road going, going, going. And that does not work. Not for everyone, some people it does, but I think if you want it to be sustainable, you have to take seasons of break, breaks. And that's what we just did. And I don't feel guilty about it. I think the first four weeks I was like, oh my gosh, what are we doing? I'm stressed about having no content. And then by like week five or six, I was like, this is nice. <laughs> we needed this. And then, you know, we were supposed to hit the road in January. That didn't happen. And here we are mid-February and we're finally on the road. And I think we still need a little more rest, which is what this week is gonna be. It's a really cool experience that we get to do. So stay tuned for that next video. It'll be fun. I think it's gonna be a little bit of rest, a lot of getting inspired, some creating again. And then we're in the, one of our favorite places in the world. We're gonna be in the Pacific Northwest, which if you wanna get inspired to create, I don't know a better place to be if you love nature. So this is us kind of throwing spaghetti against the wall and saying- <laughs> That's our entire channel. <laughs> like Sarah said, I think sometimes it's, it's really easy to be able to look at other people and kind of compare where you're at and where they're at, especially online. But I don't, I, don't, I think we've, that's something you know in your mind that you're not supposed to compare yourself. Like every channel is supposed to be different. That's why you may watch us and you watch 20 other vloggers, travel vloggers, because we all do something different, I hope. And when it comes to scheduling and having enough content on the schedule and having plans in the works, and you look at your calendar, you think, I've got nothing on the agenda for the entire year. That's when the stress starts kicking in of like, I'm not doing enough. And that's where we've been. But that's okay. I think that we've always said we wanted to do travel, but we don't want to be just travel vloggers. We want to do a lot of life in general. We have been uh, forced to step back from travel for a second, not because we haven't wanted to. We've bought multiple plane tickets and had to cancel in the last few months. But life has sort of said, whoa, take a step back, do something else, realize what you love doing, and just get creative for being the sake of creative. And so, yes, there's a travel component to this little mini series, not even really a mini series, the next several videos on our channel, there's gonna be a common thread of we're traveling primarily in the Pacific Northwest. But I think it's a lot about just enjoying life and just getting creative and telling a story again, which is what we love. So I hope you're excited about that. We're excited about it. And yes, we miss traveling. I, I really, really hope that life works out in a way that we can be international again soon but you know what for now we're working with what we've got and i think there's something really special about that you guys sit i didn't ask for a lay down ready okay that was the last time we ever saw kramer <laughs> I don't know about you, but I like to tell the truth, but the truth seems to change every Tuesday. When I watch the news, man, it just gives me the blues. No one listens, just on a mission to hear their own voice. It's a wild world, we're all trying to find our place in it. 
It's a wild world and no one seems to understand it It's a wild world but there ain't no way I'm gonna quit it Love is all we've got to give away Okay, we have finally made it to our destination. Do you want to see? For behind the scenes and extra content, you can head on over to our Patreon community. Otherwise, be sure to follow on Instagram or like and subscribe here. It really helps creators like us.